in this video, I want to show you how to set up Elastic Email SMTP in EmailJeet. Now, all of the SMTP setups are basically the same. So if you understand one, you should be able to find out and put in any SMTP at all. The only difference would be finding the SMTP server settings, the login, the password and the port name for the SMTP that you're trying to use. So basically, if you watch one of these videos, you should be able to adapt and use this with any SMTP. So let's get started with Elastic Email. The first thing to do is to find the SMTP settings for Elastic Email. And I always use Google for this whenever I need to find the SMTP server settings for any service provider. I go to Google, I just type in, for example, this time I've typed in Elastic Email SMTP and I find this pretty easily. So for this one, the first result is of course SMTP Relay by Elastic Email. And if I click over here, I can see all the settings that, S that Elastic Email recommends. This is the server address. Let's put that in Email Jeet. So coming to Email Jeet, we are in Email Jeet now. Click on manage near select mail accounts. You will get to see all the SMTP's accounts that you've put in. Click on add, then click on the server address. We've put in the server address, give it a name. Let's call this one, let's say elastic email. Then my in from, I need to put in the from email ID. So it could be like jeet and of course my email at my domain.com now you see that i've put in my name up front then a space bar then in angular brackets i put in the original email id and this is the system that you follow if you want your name to appear instead of your email id and people will see your name there in the from field instead of just the email so it looks better it, it tells people where exactly the mail is from and you can put in any name you want so if you want to put in your product name like jeet email jeet or just email jeet you can put that in and get people to know that this mail is from a verified source, a source they know and so that they can open it more often. Coming back to Elastic Email. Now. The second setting we need to put in is the port number. So let's go and put in the port number. Elastic Email recommends port 2525. Next you will need the username and the password. So username for example would be your email address as Elastic Email has told you. So in the username field right over here put in your email ID so it will be like my email at mydomain.com and the password would be your API key so for, you will have to get the API key from your elastic email dashboard so I'm logged in my elastic email account and if you click on settings you will see all the settings for elastic email and there is the SMTP API tab over here click on that and you will see your API key so copy it and paste it in the password field of email jeet so now the elastic email setup is correctly completed and anytime you want to send out the mail with elastic email through elastic email click on elastic email and type in your message and you'll be able to send out the email